Welcome to Ontotext Pharma Insights Demo. So far, we have demonstrated how Ontotext's Pharma Insights could be used to build a network of highly interconnected biomedical concepts and how the linked data exploration could give you much deeper insights using different perspectives. Ontotext's Pharma Insights goes even further, the system is capable to categorize, section, semantically annotate and index different clinical and scientific research documents. The platform could serve as a powerful mechanism for mashing up structured data loaded in the repository with the extracted knowledge from the unstructured documents. The entire process is automated, but at the same time the platform allows fine-grained control and involvement of the users at every single step in the process. Let's first download a public clinical document from the web. We will search for clinical trial documents which assess Samadrol inhalation drug. For the purpose we will use the public Behring or Ingelheim website. What we got from this search is a list of clinical study report synopsis documents. Let's select the latest document, which was published in year 2006. This is a PDF CSR synopsis document comparing the efficacy and safety of Sheotropium inhalation-based treatment to Somatrol inhalation treatment. We will download the document to use it in Pharma Insights system. The system could be preloaded with relevant documents, which will be automatically processed with the defined in the system workflow. Alternatively the users can upload a single document or a batch of documents of interest. In addition to the file upload, the system allows to use a remote web page or just to paste any text. In case we have the file stored locally, we can easily upload the document in the system. We have to select the file and describe some mandatory properties, like document title. All remaining fields are not mandatory and we can skip them. Pressing upload button will initiate the process and the PDF document will be uploaded and transformed into a HTML file. All user-defined metadata properties for the document are also saved in the system and displayed as summary on the page. They include file type, document identifier, document title, tags and related objects if they are defined. The page also outlines the steps that will be followed using this predefined workflow. Once the document is uploaded, it will be categorized, sectioned annotated, are defized and finally indexed. The process could be stopped at each step and manual interference from the user will be also possible. Let's view the transform document. The document view page displays the transform to HTML version of the document. The status is clearly indicated. All actions defined by the document processing workflow, are listed on the right. We can manually annotate the document or before that we can categorize it. Since we would like to benefit from the automation of the process, first, we will categorize it. The system successfully categorized the document as Behringer type of a document with roughly 85% confidence score. The document returned high score and for two other types, for Bristol Myers and UCB. This is not surprising because these document templates are defined for similar document types, CSR synopsis document. But the different companies have slight differences in the used templates. On top, the system indicates the progress of the annotation process following the defined workflow. Again. We can explore the document content, but since at this step it was only categorized, there will be no significant differences compared to the transformed version.
Let's initiate the next step for document sectioning directly from this page. The system indicates successful sectioning using the defined for this document type template. We will continue to the next step, document annotation. Again the document passed successfully through this step and was annotated using the predefined annotation pipeline. Let's load the document and explore the results from the annotation. As usual, the document status is indicated. If required, we could load previous versions of the document generated in earlier steps defined in the process. We can even revert to a particular version of the document and reinitiate the process from this step. This could be extremely useful especially in development phases of a project, when there might be multiple iterations to finely tune and test the different steps within the defined annotation process. The revert function could be used with the manual intervention functionality, thus allowing the user to control precisely the entire process. For example, the system could wrongly categorize a document and because of this no annotations to be tagged in the document. In such case we can revert to the transformed version of the document and then to manually classify the document, then leaving the document to follow automatically the defined process. If the results are as expected, the document can be RDFized and the semantic annotations will be imported in the semantic repository. Let's explore the annotated document. The document content display inline annotations, which normalize the biomedical objects found in the text to ontology concepts from the semantic repository, like for example Spiriva and the corresponding active ingredient, Sheotropium bromide. All document metadata, generated through the annotation process could be easily explored in general information section located in the document information menu. This section displays various properties which describe the document in general, like document type, categorization score, document title and other attributes which were generated at different steps of the annotation process. Within content tab of the menu are listed all recognized semantic sections. They are listed with their corresponding semantic section title, which are defined for each document template. Clicking on a section title will automatically change the focus of the page and will position it to the exact location of the section within the document text. The most important category of extracted information is the semantic annotations, which are listed in the Annotations tab of the menu. The different types of semantic annotations are grouped into knowledge categories and subcategories. Again, clicking on a semantic annotation will find the occurrence of the concept in the text and will change the focus of the document content. Let's explore the category, Study Drug, which holds the information identified for proprietary drug names and active ingredients. Formaterol was identified as proprietary drug name and was identified five times in the document. Clicking multiple times on Formaterol link will navigate you through all instances of the semantic annotation within the text. For active ingredient the system had identified only Sheotropium bromide. Another important category of semantic annotations is therapeutic area and indication. The system had identified chronic obstructive pulmonary disease twice in the relevant sections of the document. Study design category contains semantic annotations for study drug administration form, blinding, randomization, drug dosing, type of the study and points, study phase and other relevant types of information. Adverse events section lists all reported safety related events, like in this study, back pain, cough, dry mouth, hypertension and others. Other important types of information are laboratory measurements and other related drugs, which have the same organization and functionality as already demonstrated. After review of the automatic semantic annotations and manually modifying some of them if needed, the data is ready to be RDFized and loaded in the semantic repository. Once RDF data is imported in the repository, 
it could be combined with the information obtained from structured data sources and all previously annotated information from other documents. The document annotation pipelines in Pharma Insights allows to extract valuable information from unstructured text and to capture the context in which the object was described in different sections. This makes possible to properly model the extracted information and to combine it with the structured knowledge stored in the semantic repository. Thank you for watching and see you in our next video.